Okay guys, so today we're here to talk about the segment addition postulate. And the segment addition postulate states that if we have a point that lies on a segment between two other points, then if we add those two segments together, it should give us the length of the whole segment. So in this case, it would be segment N, segment N, M, plus, sorry, let me erase that part, the length of segment NM plus the length of segment MO, okay, will equal the length of segment NO, the entire length, okay? So all we have to do is replace each one. So NM is 17 units plus MO, which is 3x minus 5 units, should equal the entire length NO, which is 5x plus 2. So from here, this is an algebraic equation like you did last year in Algebra 1. So the first step is to combine any like terms we have. So on the left side, we have 17 minus 5. So the 3x will remain the same, and 17 minus 5 is a positive 12. On the other side, we have 5x plus 2 still, because there's nothing that can be combined on that side. From here, we have x's on both sides, so one of them needs to be subtracted. So I'm going to subtract the 3x on both sides. So 3x minus 3x is 0, leaving you a 12 over here. 5x minus 3x is 2x, and don't forget to bring down the plus 2. Now, to solve 4x, we need to get rid of the plus 2 by minusing 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So we have 2x equals 10. And lastly, we divide both sides by 2. So we have found out that 10 divided by 2 is 5, and we have solved for x. Now, in addition, in this problem, it says to find the lengths of these two segments. So we're not just finding x, we need x to help us find the length of MO. So MO is 3x minus 5. Notice I left a set of parentheses where the x was. I'm going to plug in what we got for x, which was 5. So to find MO, 3 times 5 is 15. 15 minus 5 is 10. So we know that MO is 10 units. The length of segment MO is 10 units. Now let's do NO, which is the entire thing. Now there are two ways to go about it. We can use the answer we just got. If we know MO is 10 units, 17 plus 10 is 27. Another way to go about it to get the entire length NO is to use this and plug in our value of x. So NO is 5x plus 2. And notice once again, guys, I left a set of parentheses where we're going to plug in our x, which is 5. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 2 is 27. So the entire length of NO is 27. That is the segment addition postulate. So remember, it's adding two segments together to get the entire length. Sometimes you will need to solve for x and plug that x value in to find the lengths of some of those segments. Now, what happens when the point in the middle of the segment is actually the midpoint? Okay, so notice that sometimes you may not be given a picture, so we have to draw it. So B is the midpoint of AC. B, AC is the entire length. And it says B is the midpoint. That means it's exactly in the middle. So that means AB is equal to BC. They are the same length. If AB is 2x plus 4, okay, and AC, the entire thing, is 40 units, solve for x and find the length of AB. So those are the only two things we know, but... If we know that B is the midpoint, then that means this side, BC, must also be 2x plus 4. If it's the midpoint, then these two, like we said earlier, are the same length. AB and BC are the same length. Now we can set up an equation using the segment addition postulate. 
2x plus 4 plus 2x plus 4 should equal the entire length, which is 40. What we did, guys, in case you got lost, was we added AB plus BC should add up to the entire length of AC. Solving an equation like we did in algebra, okay? Combine our like terms. So x's get combined, 2x plus 2x is 4x. And then our constants also get combined, 4 plus 4 is 8. From here, we're solving for x, so I'm getting rid of this 8 on both sides by subtracting it. So 4x equals 32. Divide both sides by 4, and we get that x is 8. Now keep in mind that's only half of what we we're supposed to do. Now we need to find the length of AB. So AB is 2x plus 4. So 2x plus 4. So we know that x is 8, so we're going to replace the x with 8. So 2 times 8 is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20. So the length of AB is 20 units. So guys, just keep in mind that you do need to read your problems carefully. Sometimes they will tell you that the point B or whatever letter is the midpoint, and sometimes it is not, like the first example. Okay, so if you have any questions, make sure to talk to your teacher and check back in again soon.